Every May, the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea hosts the Chelsea Flower Show. Run by the Royal Horticultural Society, the event will celebrate its 100th anniversary this year. Drawing over 160,000 visitors, the show is the catwalk of the gardening world. Her Majesty the Queen has been a regular visitor through the years. The Chelsea Flower Show is also a window to showcase new plants. In 2012, to celebrate the Queen's 60 years on the throne, a special Diamond Jubilee Rose was unveiled. For five days, 500 exhibitors place their designs on display, stretching the imagination and inspiring wide-eyed wonder. The geometric patterns seen here reflect the structure of plant cells. Whilst this garden captures the essence of fabulousness. The exhibits at the event are sensory delights, where colours and textures combine to produce breathtaking visions. Launching Britain's summer season, the show has a fragrant air of romance mixed with luxury and style. Another event that you may not be aware of takes place at the former home of King Henry VIII. The Hampton Court Palace Flower Show is the largest in the world and is held every July. It's just a short journey from London. Alongside works of art, you'll find all aspects of gardening to indulge in. A perfect place for enthusiasts who like to grow their own. Britain has a rich gardening heritage and is full of gardens both old and new. Sissinghurst Castle Garden in Kent has a history which stretches back to the Elizabethan era. In stark contrast, the Eden Project in Cornwall is composed of futuristic biodomes. Kew Palace is the gateway to the Royal Botanical Gardens, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Its beautiful Victorian palm house was built in 1848. Statues adorn the gardens. The ten-storey Chinese pagoda was built in 1761. Kew holds the largest collection of plants in the world. Be they big or small, Britain's great gardens are open throughout the year for all to visit.